Hi, everybody. Welcome to Storytime. Today, we are going to be reading a story called Harold and Grace. Now, we've talked about last week quite a bit about caterpillars turning into butterflies. And in this book, a caterpillar is going to turn into a butterfly. But there's another animal that we haven't spoken about that changes or goes through the process called metamorphosis of just like a caterpillar does. Metamorphosis is changing from the caterpillar to the butterfly. Well, there's another animal. Can you think of another animal that does that and completely changes what they look like? I'll give you a hint. Tadpole. A tadpole, who knows what a tadpole changes into? A tadpole changes into a frog. So a tadpole actually grows legs. Tadpoles don't have legs. They have a tail, but they kind of lose their tail and they grow legs and they totally change shape. So in the beginning, they swim. And in the end, what do they do? They hop right? And just like um, caterpillars and butterflies, they start off. Caterpillars do what? They crawl. And in the end, when they turn into a butterfly, they fly. So they totally change. So this is a beautiful story about a caterpillar and a tadpole and how they both change and what happens to them, okay? So listen to the book and we will talk about it after the story. See you in a few. Harold and Grace by Sean E. Avery. A lonely leaf grew from a tiny tree beside a little pond. Some silky eggs were stuck to the underside of the lonely leaf, which hung just a pebble splash above some slimy eggs in the little pond. Then the storm hit. The storm rushed and howled and splashed and blew at the tiny tree, the little pond, and the lonely leaf. When it finally stopped, the lonely leaf was safe, but the storm had stolen all except one of the silky eggs and all but one of the slimy eggs. The silky egg and the slimy egg hatched at the same time on the same day. Hello, said Harold the tadpole. Hello, said Grace the caterpillar. Harold swam off to explore the little pond. There, he overheard some gossiping guppies. Is that a fish? Where are its fins? It can't be much of a fish without any fins. It was a very sad swim for Harold. Grace slithered up the side of the tiny tree. Some snooty stick bugs crossed her path. Oh my word, what a ghastly shade of green. And would you look at that ridiculous fur? It was a very sad slither for Grace. Wherever Harold and Grace ventured in the little pond or on the tiny tree, they were always teased for being different. One day, Harold and Grace met back at the lonely leaf. I like your fur, said Harold. I like your tail, said Grace. And the two became best friends that day. As time went on, Harold and Grace grew bigger and Harold started to change. The fish in the pond noticed the changes. Oh, look at those fins, they look strong. Wanna go for a swim with us? Harold was excited that he'd made some new friends. He spent more and more time swimming with the fish in the pond and less and less time with Grace at the lonely leaf. Harold's changes didn't stop. As he got bigger, his tail began to shrink. The fish in the pond noticed that change too. Ew, what happened to your tail? What kind of freak fish has legs? Harold's new friends weren't acting like friends anymore. Harold returned to the lonely leaf looking for Grace, but she was nowhere to be seen. All Harold could find was a small silky sack sitting where his old friend once slept. Harold sat near the lonely leaf every day. Every night, he fell asleep with his head resting on the small silky sack. I'm so sorry, Grace, Harold croaked. I miss you so much. One morning, Harold awoke to a wiggly feeling beneath his sleepy head. 
When Harold opened his eyes, he saw something fluttering in the dim morning light. Harold shot out his long tongue to grab the tasty morsel from the air, but as he pulled the butterfly into his mouth, Harold, it called his name, Harold. Harold was not used to his breakfast talking to him. Harold, you big green nincompoop, it's me. He quickly spat the butterfly out. Hello, Harold, said Grace with a shaky, sticky smile. Oh, hello, Grace, said Harold with an embarrassed grin. Harold couldn't believe the small silky sack had been hiding his best friend all along. And he really couldn't believe he'd almost eaten her for breakfast. Grace had become a beautiful butterfly, and Harold had become a fantastic frog. Harold could hop, and Grace could fly. They didn't need to stay near the little pond and the tiny tree anymore. They went adventuring and soon discovered others who were just like them. But no matter how many new friends they found, Harold and Grace never forgot the special one they had made so long ago, near a lonely leaf growing from a tiny tree beside a small pond. The end. All right, everybody, so did you like Harold and Grace? So that story taught us a lot. There were two main characters. They were Harold and Grace. And in the beginning, why did they become friends? Because everybody else was teasing the two of them. They didn't look like anybody else. They didn't act like anybody else, right? So they were being teased, which is not nice. That's bullying, right? And we don't do that. We don't like to do that. Not that we don't like to do that. We don't do that period, because it hurts people's feelings and it makes people feel very bad. And the truth is, we're all different, right? Is there anybody else out there that's exactly like you? Is there anybody else that looks exactly like you? Even if, I don't think I have any identical twins as students, but if there are any out there listening, even if you're an identical twin, what is an identical twin? It's a twin where they both look exactly like each other, right? Even if you're an identical twin, are you exactly the same on the inside? No. Do you, do you like all of the exact same things? No. Do you act the same way? Nope, not that either. So everybody is completely different. So to make fun of somebody for being different, it's a little silly, right? Because everybody is different. We're supposed to be. Nobody's supposed to be exactly the same. That's what makes us unique, and that is what makes us so special. So even when everybody else was making fun of them, they found things to say that they liked about each other and they made really great friends, right? And then in the end, they both completely changed. One changed into a frog and the other changed into a butterfly. And then they were able to go out and explore. And what did they discover? That there were other butterflies and other frogs out there just like them. Were they exactly the same? Nope. But they were they were just like other butterflies and other frogs. They just didn't know in the beginning because all the rest of them had been washed away and they didn't know they would become butterflies. And they didn't, or Grace didn't know she would become a butterfly and Harold didn't know that he would become a frog. So even if they had seen a butterfly or a frog hopping or flying around, they wouldn't have known that they were anything like that. They had no idea that in the future they would become frogs and butterflies. So I hope that you enjoyed Harold and Grace, and I hope that we can all learn a little something about being kind to each other, right? And not teasing. It's never a good thing. There's never a good time or a good reason to tease anybody. Okay, so I will see everybody tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.